Hey, this is Roger. I'm on location in South Park. You will not believe the luxury multi-million dollar house I'm getting ready to show you. It's in the back and we're right by South Park, people. What about that? This is one of those houses that was built on the site of, you know, an older 70s or so home. And we see this all over Charlotte where people want to be in a particular area, in this case, South Park. And if you don't know about South Park, then educate yourself about it because that's where a lot of commerce is, a lot of banking, a lot of, uh, you know, lawyers and all kind of stuff. Big front porch. This is so beautiful. And guys, can you envision this brick? This is so unusual. This is a custom house. Now, let me tell you a story about, wow, that's cool. That's just unusual. Not only black windows, but that whole black facade is really striking. Well, you know, decades ago, there were two builders that were the main builders. First of all, is that door cool or what? And, you know, not far from me here is where a lot of the old money Charlotte homes are. People like, you know, the Becklers, Beckler Museum of Modern Art, etc. And so here's what I'll tell you. South Park is amazing. It's got the mall, you know, the Neiman Marcus Nordstrom Mall. And uh, there's just a lot of industry, a lot of reasons to love the South Park area. So there were two names in custom builders. There was Simonini, and he's still going strong. Very good reputation, very strong builder. But besides Simonini, and I saw him not long ago, besides Simonini was also Randy Poor. Now, when Randy Poor was building right alongside Simonini, some of the great custom homes in Charlotte, there was a young boy named John Poor. Now, when John Poor was a kid, he didn't get a Roy Rogers holster uh, set with a toy gun for Christmas. He got a tool built with a hammer on it when he was three years old. That's the way I envision him. So now he's 40-ish or so, and he's alongside his mom and dad are building these great luxury homes. There's so many things that I won't even be able to tell you about in this home because there's so much to catch. But I'll say it this way, if you're a $1.7 million buyer and you want to be in a very prestigious area, sure, you can buy a teardown in Myers Park and the Eastover, Foxcroft, and you can build it from scratch. I hope your marriage is strong, or you could, <laughs> you could let my partners bring you down here and help you buy this house uh, that's just been built. And you can tell it's a little dirty. They're still finishing it up with all kinds of custom touches from Fairview Builders, which is the entity that John Poor and Randy Poor are operating under. Wow, guys, we're going to go through this house and hopefully you'll stay with me to the end because you like... Uh, the tour of luxury homes and whatnot. A lot of things to love about it. It's big, it's spacious. I, I feel like going right now just to show you one of the killers of this house. You got cabinets, large cabinets in, and a window in the laundry room, and really also the drop zone. But if you come in from the garage, you'll notice that there is a back stairway. A nice, wide, generous back stairway that goes up to this space. Now, I don't know how you would use it. I have a feel for how I would use it. Feels like a YouTube studio to me. But look at this. Oh, man. This room right here. All the windows. I love the black windows, by the way. And you come out looking outdoors. Now, by the way, while we're here, let's just talk about it. Why not put a big pool out there? Yes, you can. Yes, you can put a nice, good sized pool out there. And maybe this is the bedroom for mom or dad that are moving with you because you got that job promotion in Charlotte. Uh, it's got an ensuite right here. Or maybe this is for your adult child. Maybe this is where you run your business from working remotely. I like it for that. I really do. So, guys, I'm a buyer's agent. My team of broker partners, we're buyer's agents with Prostead Realty. And uh, there are a lot of reasons to have a buyer's agent on your side. Occasionally people will say, well, I don't, you know, I'm working with the agent for the builder. Well, you're working with their agent, you're not working with your agent. That agent for the builder, they represent the best interests of the seller and you need your own advocate. It's kind of like getting sued by somebody and they say, oh, by the way, this is gonna be a 48 inch wolf 
right? Luxury, appliance, and look at the hood. So somebody sues you, oh, I like that. And they say, yeah, you can use our lawyer. You don't need a lawyer, but if you want a lawyer, we'll pay for your lawyer. And so how does that work? Well, it works this way. When you're buying a house, the seller is paying both agents and they have all of that worked into the price of the home. We call this a floating staircase, by the way. Oh yeah, we're gonna go upstairs. Floating staircase, cool, right? So you, what you want is a buyer's agent to represent your best interests. Because again, I get people sometimes that say, well, I'm dealing with the, the uh, on-site salesperson. They're so nice. Of course they are. They want to write you up and get you on paper. This is a dining room. Could be whatever you want it to be. It goes right into this expansive kitchen, open concept, great room. Wow, breathtaking. So when you say, no, I want a buyer's agent. Again, this, look, at, look at how big these windows are. Look at the dramatic feel of this. Now what you're saying is I want representation in the transaction. I want a buyer's agent and it's already been paid for. So why wouldn't I hire somebody on the Roger Holloway team? Are you ready for this? This is a second work area. This might be your primary one. Look at the, at the vault. Look at the colors. It's dark. You know, the windows are black. First of all, that's a luxury item. But this is just dramatic. Oh man, it's beautiful. By the way, I don't know if you noticed it in front, but there is a, I don't think I showed you actually my fault. Uh, how would you furnish that by the way? Man, that would be gorgeous with your interior decorator. Um, and you got your powder room right here. So what I'm saying is master down, never have to move. You know, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors, right? And again, built-ins. But if, if the price for your agent is already built into the price of the home, in other words, if it's not gonna cost you any extra and you don't get a discount by not having an agent, you need to give me a call at 704-345-3400 and say, hey, I, I need some help and buyer representation. Again, here, you know, you're getting up and you're looking out at the kids in the pool, right out there, why not? What the heck? Or you can do what we've done. We've done some extensive landscaping and pergola and all that in the backyard. This is beautiful, guys. And look at the floor. Real pretty. So guys, I know I'm all over the map here. This is a luxury home. This is maybe for somebody moving down from Centene, the new uh, company coming in from St. Louis. Uh, they're gonna bring 3,200, hired 3,200 people here. So my friends in St. Louis are mad at me, but it's not my fault. I didn't do it. Uh, but you know, if you're one of those executives, this would be very prestigious for one of the higher ups at Centene. And uh, for all of the other 3,200 people, we have houses for you as well. But I'm just saying 1.7 million, you know, not, not everybody can afford this, but you can. So again, what I encourage you to do is not call the agent whose name is listed on Zillow. What you want to do is give me a call and be surprised if I answer the phone. I love to answer the telephone and I will connect you with one of my broker partners to show you this house and get you to the finish line all the way through the negotiations and whatnot. So this is pretty right here. A lot of high-end finishes. Guys, I love Randy Poor and his son, John Poor. I love Fairview Builders uh, and have known them for a number of years. And I would strongly encourage you. Now see, this is just cool. Whether it's this house or whether it's another, you know, South Park area home, let's go upstairs. Or whether it is, you know, another nearby home if you want to be close to town. Um, I know Centene is going to be over on the northeast side of Charlotte, industrial area. Uh, intellectual area it's nice huh oh yeah and look at these light fixtures can you imagine what these would look like in a twilight with these light fixtures on now if you don't if that's not your style don't let that stumble you but i love that very cool looking and then this floating staircase wow plenty of bedrooms upstairs by the way we'll come back to that great room on the left there are three bedrooms over here Let's take a look at them. There's a full bath. And that one, Jack and Jill's into the last room I'm gonna show you. I want you to give me a call at 704-345-3400. Reference the Fairview Builders Home in South Park. Wait a minute, another ensuite? How about that? That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh yeah. 
tile going all the way up. Very cool. So here's a bedroom with a bath connected ensuite. Then here's a bath that's connected to that other room, the last room I'm going to show you, and easily accessible from these other two bedrooms. Wow, guys, you know, having a buyer's agent, I think is important. Baseboard is extremely generous. And they've done a lot of unusual things like these doorknobs. I mean, that is interesting looking trim right there. And the doors, this is all custom. This would impress somebody. Let's just say you're a Bank of America executive, you got a promotion, you're moving to Charlotte, or maybe Wells Fargo. You know, we're moving people from the West Coast. Uh-oh, wait a minute now. Which bedroom am I in? This is another ensuite? Oh yeah. Well, how about your teenage kids or your returning college grads? Wouldn't they enjoy having their own uh, bed and bath combination? I think so. Built-in shelves, windows. Wow, and South Park. Just do the math on South Park. You'll get it, you'll get it. So guys, I can't wait for you to go to rogerholloway.com. Do a little bit of searching right there. And uh, hit me up at 704. 345 3400. The last room, this sure feels like a bonus room, but it's got a closet. So, technically, what could it be? I know. Wow. Hey, by the way, at rogerholloway.com, what you're going to find is this is huge, guys. The closet over there in the corner. You're going to find search capability for all over Charlotte. Also connects to this. So, if you want to lock that door, then you've got a huge bedroom with an ensuite because it does have a closet but head over to rogerholloway.com do your searching there